sorry about that. Um, the com uh, the the camera. There was something going on with that there. Um, so as I was saying, um, like you build a relationship with God, you you have to um, build a connection with people. A lot of people um, are around others, but they don't bother to connect with them. And true connection means you you let people see different parts of you, and you let people see um, what they can handle of you. Because not everybody is meant to see everything, but different people are meant to see certain things. And you can connect with different people um, on the basis of different things. Like, you could connect with your accountant on your finances, or you could connect with your pastor on spiritual matters or you can connect with a friend in different ways see I have a fr a older friend um, with a disability so our source of connection is basically to talk about our disability and what to do in certain circumstances and you know, things like that. I have another friend who I connected with at church, and she also loves to read. So we talk about um, books, and we talk about where we are with the Lord. So it's a different connection, but it's still connecting. Connection is bonding. And... The Lord w wants you not to be alone. He he wants he wants you to have true bonding with Him, true bonding with yourself, and true bonding with others. And another word for bonding is connection. And um, and for my last point. He says, the last C, the beauty, is collaboration. This is my favorite because I think uh, we live in a very connected, connected world, but at the same time, in a very collaborative world, but at the same time, we are so isolated. Uh, this pandemic, people are losing their minds because we've been so isolated for so long. And we've learned that some of the ways that we, we were connecting before the pandemic um, is false. But he's calling for collaboration. Um, the best, the, one of the best things in life is where you can get, get an idea and join it with somebody else's idea and come up with something totally new. The Lord is calling for collab collaboration. The the Lord is calling for the church to come together. Another word for collaboration is unity. Uh, the Lord is calling for churches, his bride, to come together and collaborate. So if your church is strong in music, get together with some, someone who is not, uh, whose church is not so strong with that, or whose church is struggling with that, or 
you know, bring bring together what you have and what that person has. Because the right collaboration, it's a very, excuse the term, but it's a very, it's one of the most magical elements of life, of life. Because something happens when the right two people, or when the right group of people collaborate together, like put what's good about you, and I'll put what's good about me together and we create something new. That's how purpose is birthed. That's how babies are made. Because one chromosome comes from the mother and another chromosome comes from the father and it creates something new. Could it be the reason why we haven't seen much creativity in and out of the church? is that we're not collaborating together to create something new. We're just staying on our own, just me and Jesus and whatever. And there's a time for that. It, it There is. But the Lord is really calling for collaboration. He's really calling for you to take what's good about you and me to take what's good about me and join together. See, this is the this is the thing that was so awful about slavery. Never mind the um, the the fact of owning people and all that. But I was thinking of this the other day. I was thinking. We would have been so much further as a society if we were all allowed to contribute. If there wasn't this color barrier and we were allowed to collaborate. Because who knows, the cure for cancer could have been in a black person. Uh, um, and all these cures for all these diseases could have been brought by a person of color, but because they were uh, kept out and a fear prevented people from collaborate, collaborating, uh, we're still looking for uh, cures for th these diseases, spending millions of dollars a year the Lord is saying, like the Beatles said, come together over me. <laughs> and don't let our differences divide us. Don't let fear divide us. Let it unite us and let it celebrate. Let us celebrate our differences um, that we have as people, that we have as cultures. Because there are things that the white culture has that the black culture doesn't have. There are things that the Asian culture has that the Middle Eastern culture doesn't have. But we can, we were meant to add to each other, not take away from each other, not diminish each other. Um, people are so funny sometimes. What they're afraid of, they run from instead of learning from. We are meant to learn from each other. We are meant to collaborate with each other as human beings. We are meant to come together in unity and solve issues. Um, cure cancer, uh, cure Parkinson's, and all these diseases that we are looking for cures for. I believe that um, one of the keys to finding cures for our, all our world's problems is just to collaborate with each other. The reason why the vaccine, uh, the coronavirus vaccine, both Pfizer and Moderna, 
was able to come so quickly is because of collaboration. People in Paris collaborated with people in the U.S. People in the U.S. collaborated with people in Canada. And look, we have a vaccine now that is saving lives. I think the key to most, and if not all, the world's issues is collaboration. Because you have ideas and insight and wisdom that I don't have. But if we can bring together, we can create something great. We're better together than we are on our own. And I think if the world would understand how vital collaboration is, we could shake the world upside down. But we're letting fear, we're letting the unknown keep us from collaborating with different kinds of people, different mindsets, different um, different little things that we that we keep um, that we keep us that keep us bound to our own little circle because our own little circle is safe. Our own little circle is safe. But the Lord is saying, come out from our own little, your own little circle. Let's collaborate together and see what we can do. Let's, let's meet with um, uh, people of different denominations, even people of different uh, uh, faith, faith things. Uh, faith streams, we don't have to agree to collaborate, but we need to respect each other. And I think, um, and I think the thing that is um, really sad about the lack of collaboration, you have something that I need, and I have something that you need, but we're both too stubborn and afraid of the unknown to come together and say, hey, can, can, can we do this or can we do that? And if we can learn to collaborate respectfully, we can turn the world upside down. Like I said twice before, I think the key to the world's problems or one of the keys is collaboration because collaboration can bring you to uh, a new thought that you never had before can bring about a new perspective and your perspective and my perspective can bring together a, a baby a purpose that we that we would have never dreamt of alone, you know, and collaboration also breeds a uh, new perspective on issues. So maybe we don't think the same, but if we can bring my thoughts with your, your thoughts, we can come to a compromise and, and um, our world will be more cohesive if we just collaborated. Listen, let's take a bit of your idea and a bit of my idea and create something new. That's what God did when he uh, made a man and woman to do ba to do to make babies together. Um, he said, let me make the woman different than the man. Let me make the woman, uh, let me give her attributes that are different than men. Not to demean her, but just when she gets together with a man, they can both be 
be amazing together and create something wonderful. We're not supposed to be fighting each other. We're supposed to be complimenting each other. We're, you have something that I need and, and I have something that you need. You're different than me. I'm different than you. So let's bring our differences together and try and create something new. And the Lord is saying right now, that's what he wants in relationship. That's what he wants in marriage. Instead of fighting, he's saying right now, yes, Lord. Instead of fighting, couples ought to be stri striving to find the new thing that God wants to do in your marriage. See, it's God is explaining it to me right now. It's bringing together two old lives, two old mindsets to create something new that will glorify him. That's what marriage is. Bringing together two old lives and mindsets to create something new to glorify him. Marriage is the ultimate, um, the ultimate um, picture of collaboration. Um, and friendship is the ultimate picture of collaboration. I'm different than you. You're different than me. Let's come together and create something new. Collaboration breeds creation. I'll say that again. Collaboration breeds creation. If you are collaborating with something, buddy, and you're not creating something new, you're fighting with each other, there's something wrong with that collaboration. And God said, you need to get it right. Because if your collaboration, your marriage, your friendship, your church is not uh, re uh, creating something new, something is wrong. So that's what a church is. A church is not about one pastor, one guy, one guy or one woman. It's about a team of people co collaborating together. You take what's good about you, and I'll take what's good about me, and we'll strengthen each other to create something new. So collaboration breeds creation. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your word today. And Lord, I pray that you will, that we will be committed, connected, and collab collaborate with each other. Thank you for, with your, for your word today. Thank you for your grace today. Thank you for what you've done. Thank you for what you're about to do in the name of Jesus. And I pray that this world word will go out far and wide. Um, I bless you and I praise you for what you're about to do in the name of Jesus. Amen. So, if you want to see the beginning of this sermon, the beginning of this sermon, it will be available in the other video, which I believe will be below this one when it posts. So, watch the other video first and then watch this one because I had issues with my camera this morning so that's what happens but, but the Lord got his word out regardless which he always does okay guys 
for the next two weeks, I'm giving myself a little break. So I will see you in two weeks. Enjoy, enjoy until until I see you again. Bye.